So I've been on a tangent all day making videos um, and posting on um, Facebook. But, you know, I was going to post the videos here, but it's all the same thing, you know. Just me saying what's wrong and me trying to educate people about healthcare, about doctors, about all the bull crap about all of this, right? So you've heard me say it over and over again. I, I, there's no point in even posting it here. So I guess that's going to be it. I'm I'm just going to keep saying the same things over and over again until I, I can't. I can't do it anymore. Um, I waited. I went to sleep, I think, at 8 o'clock this morning. And um, um, and took Advil and Tylenol. Because I thought, I don't know, mentally I can't do that. Take a, a small milligram of, uh, what, what's that drug called? What was it called? Um, naproxen. And then wait 12 hours? I can't do that. I just feel like... Maybe she didn't uh, do a high enough dosage. Because two and a half hours later, I, you know, I felt like calling an ambulance. Um, it was hard. It was hard, you know, waiting to take that ibuprofen and Tylenol 12 hours, every 12 hours. That's okay if, if your, your, uh, Pain has been removed for 11 hours, but not for two hours, you know? So, I just made like 10 videos and posted them on YouTube or on Facebook and I'm bloody exhausted. But, you know, the only reason I was able to do that is because I had three... Oh, gee, I've got an itchy spot in my leg that's so itchy. The only reason I was able to do that is because I had three and a half hours of sleep last night, which is more than normal. And now I'm exhausted. Um, it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to get dressed and go for a walk. It snowed last night. Our, our, I think our first... Mm, I think we've had a little bit of snow, but it disappeared. So it's weird to see snow outside, and I hope it's not too slippery out there because I'm going to go walk to the store. I haven't really been out in a couple days. I just walked to the pharmacy and back. Well, I guess that was last night. I feel, I feel like it was the night before, but no, that was last night. Um, just discouraged. And... I was way angrier and way more upset earlier in the day. I guess this is the life of someone with Chiari in Canada. Um, you, you either get surgery or you die and you get gaslighted to, into your grave. I, I don't know. And uh, psychiatry is used as a, a default, right? Psych drugs. If you can gaslight people into thinking that it's just a mental issue, then they'll run with that. They'll run with that as long as they can. And they did. And I think it's a bloody miracle how far I've come and how, what I've achieved and how long I've lived. I think it's a miracle that I got off all those drugs by myself. And, um, you know, my health declined. I, I remained critically sleep deprived. And I went off all the medications to fight for my life. And that's what I'm doing. 
And I think it's a terrible shame that that's what patients have to do. Become totally unmedicated to fight for their life, to get their brain back, to, to be able to research, to be able to get medically educated, to try to fight, fight for survival. And didn't I fight? What one hell of a fight I gave them. And it didn't work. But at least I educated a lot of people along the way. I gave them a run for their money. Well, people sat and watched and laughed and victim blamed me. My family sent me shitty messages. Well, my sister got off on all of this. I hope I gave them a run for their money. This healthcare system. I don't know what made me into a bad person. Uh, they all, uh, they, all the doctors loved me when I had my mouth open like a baby bird, just swallowing the pills, right? Just looking up to obedient and compliant and just ingesting chemicals and chemicals and chemicals and chemicals. Well, well, my health continued to decline, right? That's the way they want you. Like a baby bird opening hungry with your mouth wide open and naive and gullible and I'm angry. So that's over. All the pills is over. All the pills, that's done. And to fight for credibility and fight for my Chiari malformation, fight to breathe. I can't lay down and breathe. And CPAP never helped me sleep at all. I can't sleep because I can't breathe. CPAP never helped at all. Fighting to breathe with the CPAP, fighting to keep my jaw open, fighting. Fighting for my sanity, fighting for love and support. Reaching out to you strangers on social media to support me, to help me, literally help me stay alive. And you have. All of you. And this is not what health care should be. And oh God, they line up outside your door to victim blame you. Professionals, family. This is just so wrong. The pain is hitting me right now. I forgot. I, I, I ate a little bit of something to, so I could take, uh, and I forgot. I ate something. I forgot to take the Tylenol and Ibuprofen. So it's really hitting me now. Um, I'm disgusted and so many thoughts you know looking back in retrospect what went wrong so many thoughts like individual doctors and blah 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 and uh, everything I where did where was I where was I wrong I'm clearly saying I can't breathe I'm not sleeping blah blah no no they dropped the ball over and over and over again and in retrospect I think did they really know what they're doing did they know I was dying of caring malformation did they really think that this was mental illness? No, they knew. They knew I had Chiari malformation. I think they just thought that they were part of my story, part, uh, you know, watch, watching me die. They probably thought, well, she's not going to get surgery. They're not going to give her surgery. They're not going to, the healthcare system's probably not going to give her surgery. So I'll just give her pills until she dies. I don't know. I used to think they didn't know what they're doing, but I, I don't, I don't think that anymore. They knew I had Chiari malformation. I'd like to know what the statistics are. Like do 50% Canadians get surgery? Do 50% not? 
How many people die like that on all those drugs and end up taking their life because they think it's a mental problem? Because that was almost me. At least I know the truth now. Pretty bizarre to watch, have your family watching you fight for brain surgery and, and, and for this, all this, not being able to breathe at night, fighting for my life. Pretty bizarre. Quite the trip to, the head trip to have your family watching you expire and them doing nothing. And them talking shit about you and writing you shitty messages. Bizarre. What a bizarre human experience. And they will victim blame you. Where people failed with you, when people failed, so many people, like the majority of the people out there, that when they fail you, they'll victim blame you because they can't admit that they've done wrong. Most people, I think I learned through throughout this journey, most people do not have integrity. I got to go take some painkiller.